Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to craft a laptop inside of Minecraft. So basically today we are checking out a brand new update to my device mod, which finally, finally adds in crafting recipes. I've been working on this mod for two years and uh, I haven't added, added in any crafting recipes and finally I've added it in. You can finally craft it in survival mode which a ton of you guys have been asking for because um, you want to put it in mod packs, you want to put it in all this stuff but you just can't because there's no crafting recipes. So finally I've done it and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to craft all the different devices inside of this mod and also the uh, chair as well. So hopefully this will be a helpful guide for you guys on you know how you actually craft everything inside of the mod. But let's go ahead, let's get into this right now. So let's head into uh, my mansion here and I just want to quickly show you guys what the device mod actually is just in case you have never seen it before. I just want to give you a quick preview um, because it's a mod I've been developing for over two, two years as I've mentioned. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it here. So these are all kind of yellow colored devices as you can see. Um, but you can actually get all the different colors. So you can get um, red laptops, green laptops, whatever. But the coolest thing about this is um, these are actually working devices. So if we hop on the chair here, um, this is a really cool feature about it. But let's go ahead and right click on the laptop here. You'll see that it actually brings up a GUI with a working laptop kind of interface here. So we've got applications down the bottom here. So uh, if we go ahead and click on Pixel Painter, this is a drawing application. Uh, let's just do whatever here. We can actually create pictures. So let's just draw something, I don't know. We could do something like that. Um, we can also print this out. So if we have a printer on our network, I don't think we're connected up here. Let's go ahead, let's connect up to that router there. Let's go print. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, the um, network is connected here. But if we go ahead and we just get our Ethernet cable and we right click that, should be connected now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do another picture here. Let's just draw like a circle here, <laughs> a scribble, sorry. Uh, we can now see that the printer is in the list because it's in the Wi-Fi network. And uh, we also need to put some paper inside of there too. So we'll actually print out. Um, but yeah, it's printing out the picture now. So this is the printer device, this is the router, the laptop. This is the uh, office or gaming chair, whatever you'd like to call it. But one of the new things that this mod adds in is all these new crafting components. So it's kind of a bit scattered all over the place, I'm not sure why. Um, but here we have a controller unit, we have unrefined plastic, um, some RAM, we have a wheel, we have a small electric motor, plastic frame, uh, the central processing unit or the CPU for short. Uh, we have some more down here, so uh, this is some more main stuff. We have the motherboard, a Wi-Fi module, graphics processing unit, unit or GPU. Uh, we have the hard disk drive, a battery, plastic, screen, carriage, circuit board, solid state drive and also the flash chip. So these are all the new kind of items that have been added in. I think that's um, all of them. Uh, but these are all used to craft all these devices. Have a look at this. We just got this picture. <laughs> that's amazing. That is amazing. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to craft all this stuff today using all these new items. So let's go ahead, let's check out all the recipes right now. We're going to head into my garage here because I've converted this in to the recipe room. To the recipe room here. So every single one of these chests in the room represents one recipe inside of the mod. Now a lot of these recipes are to craft items that you need in order to craft devices. So for instance, the laptop here is going to need a motherboard. So you're going to have to craft a motherboard. You're then going to need to add a CPU to it. You're going to need to add a GPU to it, some RAM, and then also a Wi-Fi module. So there are a lot of steps involved uh, when actually crafting uh, all these devices. So we're going to start this off by looking at the device, uh, sorry, the laptop right now. And uh, let's start over here. So this is the start of this kind of the steps that you need to take before you can actually get up to the laptop recipe at the end here. So the first thing that is kind of common with all the devices is circuit boards. So circuit boards can be crafted using red nether brick and then a piece of redstone dust in the in the middle and then you'll actually get one circuit board, not 64, I just kind of uh, uh, put that there just because I actually want to take that out and um, we're going to be craft we're going to be using that circuit board to actually craft some things here. 
Next up we have the motherboard. So this here is the motherboard and this is crafted using three circuit boards at the bottom. We've got two gold um, on either side in the middle here, a block of redstone in the middle, um, a daylight sensor at the top here, a comparator to the left and then a redstone repeater to the right here. Now when you actually craft the motherboard you'll see that if you hover over it it actually has you know the components that are missing. So we're missing the CPU, the RAM, the GPU and also the Wi-Fi. If you actually hold shift uh, it will give you some extra information. So as you can see it says to add the, re to add the required components place the motherboard and the corresponding component into a crafting table to combine them. So what we're going to do is grab that motherboard out and then here are the four kind of required components. So we have the CPU, the RAM, the GPU and the Wi-Fi modules. So the CPU is crafted with uh, four eye or one iron in each corner. We have two redstone uh, to the left and right in the middle here. We have a block of diamond right in the middle, a clock at the top and then a circuit board at the bottom here. So these recipes aren't supposed to be really easy because uh, the laptop in my mind is supposed to be more of an end game item but I'm sure you guys can easily round up all these materials especially if you're a hardcore you know modded player uh, and that will create the CPU so how you actually combine them is very simple so we go to a crafting table here put the motherboard in uh, put the uh, CPU in anywhere and as you can see if we hover over this one you'll see that the CPU is now added so we've got that um, let's go ahead and let's get the RAM here so the RAM is uh, three circuit boards at the top here we have an end crystal in the middle. Now you can actually craft these and they're very simple. Uh, if you actually go into the recipe here, you'll see that it's actually glass. We have an end, eye of end in the middle here. And then we also have a ghast here at the bottom. So they're all legitimate items you can get in survival mode. So the furthest you do have to go in this recipe is the nether. So you need to get obviously a ghast tier um, to actually craft one of these. Uh, but then we've got gold nuggets at the bottom and that will get you some RAM here. So let's grab that out. Next component here we have is the GPU. So you actually need to craft two um, RAM components. Uh, one is going to be used inside of the actual GPU, then one's going to be used as a standalone one. Um, but yeah, for the GPU here we have two obsidian in the top left and right corners. We have gold at the top here, redstone, a prismarine shard. So you will have to find an underwater temple. Um, this is all about adventure and then we have three circuit board at the bottom and that will get you a uh, GPU or graphics processing unit. And then lastly we have the Wi-Fi module here. So here we have an end rod so you actually have to go to the end um, before we can actually craft a laptop but I'm sure you guys can do that very very easily and you can craft end rods as well so that is just using a popped chorus fruit and then a blaze rod. Um, let's go back to here. So we have an ender pearl in the middle, two iron uh, to the left and right of it. Uh, that should be just one redstone. Uh, that should be one. Oh, what the? Why is that? What is that doing there? <laughs> what is that doing there? I think that's. Oh, what's going on? What is going on here? All right. Actually, it should be like this. So we have uh, two redstone like that, circuit board, and that will get me the Wi-Fi module. So let's go ahead. Let's add this to the motherboard now. So just simply pop this in like that. Now, uh, right now, you can't actually do this where you can put in. Um, two components, but I will add support in the future where you can just put everything into one crafting recipe and it'll all be added in. So there we go, we have the motherboard now. Next stage is to craft the hard drive disk. So you're going to need to have this so you can actually have storage on the laptop. So it's just iron ingots in this kind of U shape, a shulker box in the middle, and then a piece of redstone dust at the top there, and that will get you a uh, hard drive. Next here we have a battery, so kind of the same thing, just a U, just upside down with iron. We have a block of redstone in the middle and then blaze powder at the bottom there and that will get you a battery. Now batteries currently aren't really implemented into the mod, however they will be in the future so that's why I've kind of uh, added them in right now. Next up here we have the screen for the laptop, so this is crafted using uh, one redstone glass pane, one green one, and then also a blue one at the top here, so RGB. Uh, we have prismarine crystals in the middle here, so you, again you will have to go find an underwater temple. Then we have two circuit board and a piece of redstone dust in the center there, and that will get you a screen. 
Uh, and then here we've got the next step and that is actually creating a plastic frame. So to create a plastic frame we actually start here at some unrefined plastic. So how you create unrefined plastic is simply with a slime bowl, uh, an ink sack and then a bone mill and that will actually give you uh, some unrefined plastic here and we're gonna grab that out because what I want what I want to do is actually smelt this and Show you guys the kind of true recipe for it So you're actually going to need to grab a furnace and let's go ahead and let's also grab out some charcoal here Pop that into there and we'll let that actually uh, cook there and what that will actually give you is Plastic so as you can see unrefined plastic put it in a furnace and that will actually give you um, a plastic here which you, then you can use um, to actually craft. Oh, that actually. Oh, yeah, this actually gives an output of, I think, two or. Oh, it gives you an output of four plastic with it. So once you've got enough plastic, we can create a plastic frame, and that's simply by doing a 3x3 three three like this, and that will get you a plastic frame. Now, for the laptop, you're going to need to grab. Uh, you're going to need four of these plastic frames. So let's get out some more um, of this plastic here. And uh, let's create another one here, and we just simply need one more after this. So there we go. Uh, let's grab out the next batch, which should be here in a second. We just need one more, we need four more actually, and then we can create the final frame. While that's happening, let's go ahead and look at the laptop recipe. So here, as you can see, we need four plastic frames in the corner. And then as you can see, we've already got all these components here. So we've got the screen, we've got the battery, We've got the motherboard with all the components added and we've also got the hard disk drive. And then at the bottom here, you actually put a die of your choice. So if you want to get different colored laptops, um, then you go ahead and put in the die color that you want. So you could replace that with yellow or your favorite die. Let's go ahead, let's grab these out right now. Let's go ahead and uh, craft our final plastic frame here and let's go ahead and finally craft the laptop here. So the four plastic frames in the corner the screen at the top, let's get the motherboard, put that into the center, hard disk drive to the right, battery to the left, and then what was in the center? Um, <laughs> I completely forgot here, battery, wait hold on, are we missing something? We're missing something. So let's try this again, we'll put the screen at the top here, we'll put the four plastic frames in the corner, motherboard in the middle, hard disk drive to the right, battery to the left, and then yellow die in the middle, and as you can see, we have a yellow laptop. How epic is that? So obviously this would take a while to collect, but you know when you actually do craft in survival mode, um, it's kind of a reward. You know, it's a it's a big reward. You're only going to really need to craft one laptop, but once you've got it, you're going to be happy that you finally got it and the work has paid off. Um, so yeah, that is the laptop. Next here we have the router. So we've already kind of crafted all the things that we need to actually create a router here. So let's take a look at it. So we have end rods, we have a die at the top there. We have the plastic frames in the middle. We have a Wi-Fi module in the middle here. We have a circuit board. Then to the right we have a battery, and that will actually give you a router. So I'm not actually going to craft that, but you guys can see what the uh, components here are, and I've already shown you what the recipes actually are. Let's go ahead and grab that. Next here we're going to be showing the process for the printer. So the printer has um, three three components you have to craft before you can actually craft it here. So first of all we have a small electric motor. So this is using plastic. We have iron at the top here, two gold nuggets at the top and then a redstone at the center at the bottom and that will get you a small electric motor. Let's grab that out there. Uh, next, we also need to build a carriage. So this is does this is this printer is based on an inkjet computer. Oh, sorry, an inkjet printer. So we kind of have this carriage piece where the actual thing will slide across and uh, put the ink onto the paper. So that has plastic. We have a minecart in the middle at the top here, um, iron in the middle, and then string at the bottom there, and that will get you a carriage. Let's grab that out. Next here we have the controller unit. So the controller unit is simply just a kind of just a simple component which is put into you know things like the printer because like a printer is like a computer it can do maths and that type of stuff but it needs to be able to you know you know how to actually print it's going to tell you you know the printer is going to know how to print so we kind of have a small type of computer inside of it and how you actually craft that is similar to a motherboard so we have a comparator redstone repeater we have redstone at the top there. Instead, we just have a single diamond in the middle here, two gold nugget to the right, and then a circuit board at the bottom. I might actually change this and just make it all circuit board at the bottom there, just to make a little bit more sense. 
um, and then there you get a you get a controller unit from that then finally to craft the printer um, we go ahead in here and as you can see this actually requires another screen because the printer actually has a screen on it telling you how much paper is inside of it so again we have plastic frames in the corner the screen at the top we have the electric motor carriage controller unit and then the die of your choice um, and you can select the color uh, of a device you want so let's go ahead let's craft that right now so we'll actually take out that plastic frame and the die here and also the screen so let's put the screen at the top there plastic frame in the corners die at the bottom here and then we have the small electric motor carriage and then the controller unit so there we go let's grab that out we now have a red printer next here is the the crafting recipes for the USBs now there is one component we haven't looked at here and this is actually a flash chip so the flash chip is uh, used to store stuff on it <laughs> uh, essentially it's not it's just used in the uh, crafting here but to craft it uh, you're gonna need circuit board in the middle there at the top we have two iron ingots and a redstone in the center and then we have gold nuggets at the bottom there and that will get you a flash chip then to finally craft the USB here you're going to need two dies now I am gonna be changing around this recipe um, in the future and same goes there might be some improvements to all these kind of crafting recipes uh, this mod is still in development so once I get your guys feedback on all this um, I will uh, um, probably change uh, a, a bit of these recipes around this is kind of just the first the first kind of series of these recipes uh, but to craft this USB here we have two die, we have an iron ingot in the middle. In the center here, we have that flash chip. Then we have two plastic frames on the side here, and then also a circuit board. And that will get you a flash drive. We might actually craft this one. So let's grab out all this stuff. Let's go into here, let's put the dies in. We have the plastic frames there, circuit board there, flash chip, and then at the top there was the iron ingot. So there we go, we got our red USB. And then finally, Finally here we have the office chair, so you're going to need to actually craft the wheels So it's kind of I might be changing this one around but to craft the wheels You're going to need some plastic and then a block of iron in the middle there. Uh, I'm not sure why I forgot uh, To put the wheel item. Hold on. Let me go ahead and find it here. There it is So that will craft a wheel so you're going to need to actually craft two of them and then to actually craft the chair here we have grey concrete we have leather in the middle there, cobblestone wall at the bottom there, we have two, one wheel either side of it, and then at the top there the colour of your choice, so I've gone for a red one, and that will give you a uh, red um, office chair, so let's grab that out. Uh, and then finally, one last crafting recipe that we haven't covered is the ethernet cable, so this is used when you want to connect up the printer to you know, your router, because the printer doesn't have any sort of interface, so we need to connect it up somehow, so this has iron ingots in the middle there, plastic on the top left and the bottom right corners, uh, lapis lazuli on the top right and bottom left corner, and then a gold nugget on either side in the middle row there, and that will get you an ethernet cable. And let's go ahead, let's create a little setup here using our new crafted devices here. So let's go outside, I know it's not like the best the best place, maybe we'll just create a garden setup. This is a garden, this is a ghetto setup right here. Let me know if your uh, let me know if this setup is better than your setup. <laughs> uh, so we got our new devices um, USB. Put that into the laptop here. Can I do that? There we go. And let's also put an office chair down. <laughs> this is probably better than. Let me know if this is better than your setup, guys. Uh, the top of the chair here. Let's connect the Wi-Fi up to the closest router, which would be the most the strongest signal here. And uh, yeah, there we go. There is our uh, there is our uh, gaming setup, our garden gaming setup, and with our newly crafted devices. But that, my dudes, is going to end off this video today. This update is finally available for you guys to download. So download link in the description below. Get the latest version of the device mod. I'd love your guys' feedback on all these crafting recipes as well. So if you think something needs an improvement or needs to be changed, do let me know. Uh, if you find any bugs in this mod as well, uh, report them over to my GitHub. I'll put a link in the description uh, for that as well if you find any bugs. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, snap that like button, and I will see you guys later. Bye. I like to do I like to do karate at the end of my videos.